Well, hello, Shoreline congregation and, and friends of Shoreline. Uh, this is your weekly devotional for Wednesday, July 29th. And it's just, it continues to be a very unique season in our world. I talk with people who are just feeling kind of weary and worn, um, deeply concerned about what's happening in our world, concerned about their own families, uh, and yet the weight of it is, is just kind of challenging for, for all of us, for every single one of us. And so as I read from Psalm 140, the opening verses of that psalm, I want you to listen to the, to the, the heartache and the cry of the psalmist. David wrote this psalm, inspired by the Holy Spirit. And, and just get the nuance of what he's feeling, of what he's seeing, what he's experiencing. And then I just want to share three thoughts with you that I hope will give you some perspective and an encouragement and maybe a little challenge, even if you're feeling weary, a little challenge to, to check your own heart and make sure that we're all living in a way that honors Jesus. So listen to these words from Psalm 140. Rescue me, Lord, from evildoers. Protect me from the violent who devise evil plans in their hearts and stir up war every day. They make their tongues as sharp as a serpent's. The poison of vipers is on their lips. Keep me safe, Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Protect me from the violent who devise ways to trip my feet. The arrogant have hidden a snare for me. They have spread out the cords of their net and have set traps for me along my path. I say to the Lord, you are my God. Hear, Lord, my cry for mercy. Sovereign Lord, my strong deliverer, you shield my head in the day of battle. Do not grant the wicked their desires, Lord. Do not let their plans succeed. And David, you can tell it is he's under attack, under oppression. You feel, you get a sense that it's real people attacking him, but also a deeper spiritual reality. And so I wanna, I wanna encourage you in three different ways to think about three different things and, and to, as best you can, act on these and, and, and move forward in these. Number one, this prayer that David prays, you know, rescue me, protect me, help me. If you're feeling weary, if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling under attack, and, there, and it seems like there's attacks coming from all kinds of different directions in our world today on all kinds of people. And it, it seems like it's becoming more the norm, the conflict and the vitriol and the, and the tension between people. And, and if you're feeling that, if you're feeling under attack, would you just cry out to God, just quiet your heart and say, God, protect me, watch over me, protect those I love. Sherry and I have found ourselves praying for God's protection over each of our kids and, and our grandkids and the people that we love on a daily basis because there's so much going on that's just painful and difficult. So, so to pray for protection against, against attacks and the evil in the world. The second challenge I want to give you is this. And this is a, this is a, this, I call it a challenge for a reason. Check your heart and check your life and make sure you're not the one attacking. Don't make it so that somebody else has to say, Lord, protect me from the attacks of you, of me. Let's watch our words. Let, let's watch our attitudes. Let's watch how we talk about people, what we say. In this world where we're attacking people face to face, virtually, whatever the environment is, which has become such a norm, let's be careful we're not the ones that people have to pray to be protected from. I'm not saying don't stand for what you believe in, but I'm saying check your heart and make sure you're not becoming a source of antagonism or unnecessary uh, you know, pain in the lives of other people. In my letter two weeks ago on Saturday, I talked about being aggressively kind. Do all you can to be kind to people. And when you have to deal with tough things, do it with graciousness. Don't make yourself the source of pain in someone else's life in this already very difficult time. And then the third thing that struck me in this passage is, is just the reality of spiritual war warfare and our need to be tuned in to what's going on around us. At the end of this passage that I read, we read, Sovereign Lord, my strong de deliverer, my, you shield my head in the day of battle. Do not grant the wicked their desires, Lord. Do not let their plans succeed. There are also spiritual battles going on right now. I believe that the enemy looks for moments of weakness and struggle and pain, and he pounces, he attacks. You read Matthew chapter four and Luke chapter four, where Jesus is in the wilderness. He's fasted for 40 days and he's hungry. And the first thing the enemy does is tempts him by saying, turn these stones into bread. The enemy looks for moments of weakness, of tiredness to attack. Let's watch ourselves late in the evening when we're tired. The choices we're making, the things that we say, we may be thinking and acting in a way that we wouldn't, wouldn't think or act first thing in the morning when we're fresh at the beginning of a day. 
But at the end of the day, we're weary and we're tired. And the enemy, I think, comes along and tries to seduce us into all kinds of things. Be careful how you interact with your spouse or your kids or your family or your friends late in the day when you're tired and you've had it and you probably ought to be in bed, but you're not, and so you're becoming cranky. Let's, let's not let the enemy get a foothold in our lives. Let's pray against the enemy attacking, but let's also pray against the enemy seducing us to live in ways that we shouldn't. This Psalm 140 is this cry to God, help me in this time of need. And I wanna invite you to pray that prayer with me. Oh God, we pray that you will protect us in this time of all kinds of pain and struggle and hardship and, and, and give us strength in the middle of weariness for many of us. Fortify us with the presence and the power of your Holy Spirit. And we pray, oh God, if we're becoming a source of pain for others, if we're becoming short and cranky and insensitive and we're hurting other people and they're having to pray, oh God, protect me from my pastor, from my mom, from my dad, from my friend. Lord, let us not be the source of pain for others. Let us be gracious and kind as best we can. Speak the truth in love. And then, God, we pray in the powerful name of Jesus, you protect us from any attacks or seductions of the enemy in this season, that we would hold to you, Jesus, more tightly than we ever have before. We want to walk with you, be our stronghold, our fortress, and our mighty tower. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, this week, I want to invite you to week three of A Vision of Jesus. We'll have three services online, 8.30, 10, and 11.30. Two services in the courtyard, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock, if the weather permits. And we are excited to gather and worship. Be reading the book of Hebrews. Be growing in your faith. There's a lot happening in the life of your church. So check the website. Learn, learn about the good neighbor and how we can be a good neighbor right where we live and right where we work. Learn about what's happening in all of our ministries online and stay engaged. Keep growing in your faith. Well, God bless you. Have a great week and we'll see you on Sunday.